I've decided to make vegan crab rangoons for you guys today. I actually use jackfruit instead of crab meat. And this really works because jackfruit is also a little bit sweet and the texture is a little bit similar as well. So I can't wait to show you guys this recipe. You guys are gonna love it so much. So let's head over to the kitchen and then let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a quarter cup of vegan cream cheese. This is Tofuti, it's available at most supermarkets, but there's a lot of brands out these days. Next, I'm gonna go in with just mayo and um, about two tablespoons of that. Just mayo tastes exactly the same as mayo. I went in with a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and then this is two um, spring onions that I just diced up. Uh, next, so this is jackfruit from the Jackfruit Company and I chose teriyaki because we're dealing with um, kind of more Asian flavors and this is already pre-marinated. For those of you who haven't tried jackfruit before, it is a fruit and um, people liken it very much to kind of pulled pork because you can you can kind of see when you pull it the shreds kind of resemble um, the texture of meat a lot so um, in goes a half a cup and then you're just going to mix it around with um, a fork until everything is nice and smooth and combined and you can see that it really resembles a lot of like that crab meat texture as well I went in with a dash of salt and then this is just me adjusting flavor so about a quarter teaspoon of lemon juice goes right in and the lemon juice really brightens this recipe up and then it also makes kind of the cream cheese tastes just a little bit more cheesy because of the tang. So we're going to be using cornstarch and a little bit of water to bind the wonton wrappers instead of using eggs. And then this is the wonton wrappers. You want them to be square shaped because of how we're going to do it. And I'm putting in about, a, let's say about a tablespoon into um, each wrapper. And then you're just going to fold it in half and then turn it into triangles. Seal the sides like that. So it's going to be super, super easy. It makes about nine to 10. And then uh, before you put it into the oven, which is by the way, preheated at 350 degrees, you want to brush it front and back with a little bit of vegetable oil because that's how all of these guys are gonna get nice and crispy so about 18 minutes you want to flip it halfway in between and then afterwards I was super surprised at how crispy these guys were without having to be in a fryer which I love because then your whole house doesn't end up smelling like oil all over and you can see how nice this crunch is I just wanted to open one of them up for you and you can see that um, with the jackfruit it really mimics the um, the texture and the pull of meat a lot and especially after you bake it you get rid of some of that um, some of of that moisture within so it even tastes more meaty. I think the teriyaki paired really well with all of the Asian flavors so um anyways I hope that you guys do give this easy recipe a try it's it's different from normal crab ragoons but it's absolutely delicious. As usual if you want to see more videos like this please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!